Hey guys, it's your best five friends. I'm Kelsey, that's Rachel. What are we talking about today, Rachel? We're going to talk about Mike Tyson, Roy Jones Jr., and the fact that it's a pay-per-view and that it's 50 bucks. Let's talk about how what it's do we think about that? $49.99. I felt like when I found that out, I was like, okay, yeah, that's a pretty good pay-per-view price. And I've had a mixture of people tell me that, that it's way too much. And, and other people just being like fine with it? Yeah, it's not. I, I mean, the last, the boxing pay per views have gotten to be where like. They're consistently. You know, 60, 75. Like 70, maybe 75 the pack out was 100. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, I feel like 50 bucks, that's a good, that's, that's maybe well, 1999 prices, right? I'd, I'd like to, it'd be even more reasonable to me if I heard more about the charitable aspect of it. So I tend to be a little more free with my money if I'm like, hey, this is going to, you know, a charity or whatever. I like where people say a portion of the proceeds or like <laughs> a tiny portion. I don't really don't know. I'm sure. I feel split on it. So I basically feel like. On what? On the pay-per-view. Oh. And the price. You represent the all people. I guess so. So here's, here's how I'm split on it. Basically, there's a part of me that's like, well, yeah, they're not going to do this for free boxing is still a niche sport despite how big like mike tyson is i don't think that he can go on like abc or something and have this be like the super bowl you know the super bowl isn't a pay-per-view it doesn't need to be i think like i so i'm like okay well yeah these guys want to make some money they have big names like i get it and then the other part of me is like this is not a real fight so i don't want to pay for it yeah, it's hard because you've got the California State Athletic Commission, the director being like, oh, this is not a real fight, bear your gloves, if, you know, we'll stop it or whatever. And then on the other side, you got Roy talking about going in there to live or die, you know what I mean? And so I would imagine, the story I make up is that I think the fight's going to be better than people think. I don't think they're just going to, like, put pillow gloves on and stop it as soon as somebody gets punished. I think that's the kind of thing you say. If you're the athletic well, I hope not, commission that, person, like, honestly, because you don't want to take the heat of right. two 50 year old people in the ring beforehand. But once they're in the ring, everything on fight night, you've got all those pay per view buys, you can let it happen whenever you want to let it happen. I think we're going to get a legitimate, semi legitimate fight, albeit between two guys that should have fought 17 years ago and who really haven't been in their primes in longer than that. I hope that it is a competitive fight, because here's the thing. In boxing, like you can see competitive fights, and it doesn't have to be both elite level like people in the sport. Right. So I'm wondering, this might be like a, a good fight between two older guys who are still like Roy is pretty much still active. Tyson is clearly like in shape. It might be a good. So I hope that it is because if I do pay fifty bucks for something and I get something like what Mayweather versus a kickboxer. <laughs> I would legitimately be pissed off. Well, like, there is you're not You're saying because enough. you thought that was fixed or because it wasn't competitive? It wasn't competitive. Well, I mean... I don't know if it was fixed or not, but it, it was clearly, clearly, like, not competitive. And... You know, to give, and to be honest, isn't it, is it like that a little bit? Because Tension, the kickboxer that Mayweather fought, he weighs like 122 pounds, I think, right? Mayweather... Mm -hmm. By that time, was at least a we at least weighed him outweighed him by 20, uh, 20 pounds or so, if not more. But Roy started at middleweight, right? Mike Tyson started at heavyweight. I know Roy eventually moved up and and won one fight at heavyweight, win a heavyweight title. But he's not really a heavyweight, so maybe it is kind of like that fight. I don't know. I don't think their weight is that different, markedly different. I think that Roy, Roy is Jones walking and Mike Tyson right now. Well, right, yeah. but that's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's right not now. Up here. I don't know what last time we fought like two years ago, at right? At cruiserweight, yeah. So I mean, that's like pretty like close. Well, now, but I'm saying that naturally, Tyson is a lot. And the difference larger between of a like 220 and 200, let's say, is not as big a deal as 147 and 120. But I'm saying that Roy's natural weight class when he started boxing was 160. That's yeah, a, but he's old gap. now. He's like people get bigger as they get older. I mean, that's why they, guys move up in weight. But not like no, he doesn't get bigger weight class wise. It's not like Roy was a real You're heavyweight. You're saying that like I'm his, saying Roy's never been a real his heavyweight. Structure, ever. just his bodily structure is. I don't know. I think maybe their age is going to level some of that out. And you're right. It might be 
don't clearly. Know. But again, if both guys go in and really like uh, attempt, like if it's really a fight, I'll be more satisfied, even if Mike being a heavyweight is like a clear huge advantage. Mm. Both of them. Then I will if they walk in and they're like, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, and do some like little dumb stuff like that. If I see some people like, you know, up on their toes, like dancing around the ring for, you know, however many rounds, I'm not going to be happy. Yeah. And then, I mean, to be, Roy's one of the best fighters of all time. So I'm not comparing him to a kickboxer coming into a different sport. I'm not trying to do that. I'm just saying that he is a lot smaller naturally guy now. On the other side of that, Rachel, he's got the longer reach on Mike Tyson because yeah. Mike Tyson is short by heavyweight boxing standards. Isn't um, he an inch taller? And an inch, he's taller, so it's going to be more than an advantage? inch tall. <laughs> maybe, maybe an inch, but it's going to be an interesting fight, man. I'm, I've always been this because I grew up Roy Jones Jr. fan. I always think this: if Roy could just turn back the hands of the clock one night, man, if I could see that one more time. What a great opportunity to do that against Mike Tyson. What a stunning victory it would be. What if Roy was Superman one more time, Rachel? That's what I want to see. Because if Roy's Superman and Mike's the guy he is when he's hitting on when he's been hitting on the mitts, that's gonna be a hell of a fight. I'll tell you that. Yeah. So basically the verdict is it's it's a risk. Paying fifty bucks for this pay-per-view yeah. is a risk. But it's not the only fight on the card. Now we got Jake Paul and Nate Robinson, baby. And again, <laughs> I like yeah. I'm, I'm all Give about it. Give me like a whole night. I I find it intriguing <laughs> that somebody, a former basketball player, is like, I want to box, and and I, we've seen Jake Paul he's pretty box, good. and he's not bad. <laughs> so I'm kind of I'm intrigued by this. Yep. You know, like I'm just intrigued. So I'm eager to see what the promotion's going to bring, what the night is going to bring, and yeah, why don't we? I'm also intrigued by what's what's going on here, Kelsey. I'm not as good a fighter as Jake Paul. You know what I mean? I go in there and get handled, I guess. <laughs> Kelsey, you got a sport in a little black eye there. Hey, we train at our gym. We spar twice Which... a week. And lately I've been sparring guys that are a lot better than me. So it means that when I throw punches... Here's yeah, what... you sparred a like, professional Let MMA fighter, you... right? No, get this. This is the thing I always like. Kelsey will come back and you'll be like, Hey, we were sparring tonight, but we all sparred. One guy. So this MMA guy essentially sparred like 30 rounds with everybody in the class. All the amateur boxers. <laughs> one after another. We each get three rounds with them. I always have to go first. I'm like, what? Yeah. So it's pretty. So he's like, here's nice how you know when you're in trouble. Let me Kelsey. educate you on how you know you're in trouble. If you throw punches at somebody and they just barely move and you don't <laughs> hit them, you don't hit them, you're in trouble. Do you know what I mean? If they have that ability and you, particularly if you don't, you're in trouble. You just do the best you can in life. That's what I do. Well, that's what you do. You go in there and I, you like I took put that, yourself up like I, against somebody. You know. I like, took that ten-eight round fade in the second round. <laughs> well, that's, well, that's Monday. Now, to be fair to me, I was completely off balance because of my poor footwork. <laughs> so it was. I, that's why. I, but he hit me with a punch, which knocked me over. So it's a ten-eight round. You know. I, yeah. I was quick to point out that I was off balance, but it was it was a ten-eight. I don't know that I'd be willing to do that. I don't know if I want to go in and get punched by anybody. Well, imagine having that, suffering that in the second round and having to fight for a third round. <laughs> That's what I experienced. But I, I mean, I do okay. Like, you know, I'm not in there yeah. just taking, I mean, I'm not winning, but I'm not supposed to. I'm not set up to win that fight. I'm set up to learn and grow. Win or learn. That's what John Cavanaugh says. <laughs> Conor McGregor's coach. Lots of learning in my life. Yeah. It pains see. me. It pains me. As you can see, this is a. It hurts my heart to see this black guy. I come home and I'm like, <laughs> oh my god, little kitten. No. Now here's what concerns me is that when he first came home, he didn't have a black guy. He said he got punched in the got eye punched and in the it eyeball. hurt. He got punched in the eyeball and it hurt. And then it, what? It's been two or three days later, and now you have a black guy. I'm concerned about the internal damage. I want. Part of me wants to put an end to this. Too bad. <laughs> I've got to hone my skills. Next time I'm going to learn Muay Thai so I can be like Ong Bok. And then Jiu Jitsu. I'm going to be like Jiu Jitsu Man. Is there a Jiu Jitsu okay. Man? Is there a movie? There should be like an action movie. Like Jiu Jitsu Man. Like Karate They're Kid. They're just like rolling around, like you know? And nobody knows what's going on unless you know Jiu Jitsu. They're like, what is this? Yeah. <laughs> That'd be funny. Anyway, thanks for watching our show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. 
to Real Talk with Kelsey and Rachel. I'm Kelsey, that's Rachel, and this was Real Talk.